Aloha, here on Eat and Be Eaten. I am making a video today, um, and this is an update from a few years ago, about citrus trees, yellow leaves on citrus, citrus trees. This is our orchard. We are on the Hamakua coast of the Big Island of Hawaii at about 1,200 feet. This is a Tahitian lime tree. Up here, we have a tangerine. After a full, this is one of the first trees we planted, this tangerine. Never gave fruit for the longest time. Now finally, in I'd say year seven. Yeah, it's year seven. So that's the first year now that the tangerine has fruited. And then here's the blood orange. Blood orange, one of the most delicious citrus fruits in my opinion. It's been giving fruit for a couple seasons now. Here's one. But as you can see, the, the leaves on these citrus trees now are very lush, dark green. The tangerine's still some light green, but so much better than it used to be. And kind of the point here is that when it comes to citrus trees, they really, and all fruit trees, they just need time. Look at how many Tahitian limes absolutely most delicious lime I've ever had by the way it takes time for the roots to get down into the soil like it's kind of normal for them to have a lot of yellow for the first number of years and that's kind of what I'm trying to communicate here before I kick it back to this video from like three four years ago so you can see when we had a situation with lots of yellow leaves on the citrus and what we did it's going to show you the solution that you can add to your soil to make it better. But I would say, honestly, the number one thing to take away is that it just takes time. Once those roots get down, the citrus tree tends to get a lot stronger, and now they're just going to be off to the races. You can see the giant ulu breadfruit tree back there. Okay, but so now I am going to play a video from a few years ago. This is gonna show you all about yellow leaves on citrus in the first few years and something you can add to the soil to help the process along. Okay, welcome back to the Principles of Permaculture series here on Eat and Be Eaten. If you click the link in the upper corner, you can see our whole playlist. We got videos on chop and drop, living mulch, perennial peanut ground cover, making your own baking soda, fungicide, stuff like that. So today we are talking about yellow leaves on citrus trees. And actually there's a really simple cure you can try that may have the effect of completely changing the dynamic for your trees. So the first thing we got to talk about when it comes to this is soil pH level. Level. Most trees like a pH in the range of 6 to 7. Somewhere around there. 7 is a neutral pH. So if you're in an area that gets heavy rainfall, which is what we have here on the wet side of the island on Hawaii Island, um, that leaches the nutrients out of the soil and it brings the pH down so it makes it more acidic. So what you can do to raise the pH is add agricultural lime. This is like made from dolomite, stuff like that. Um, and actually wood ashes are also a pretty good substitute for lime. And what it does is it raises the pH back up to that six, seven range. Um, and citrus trees in particular, they, they prefer six to seven. So our soil here naturally is probably more around like 5.5, 5.3. So by adding lime, what you can do is unlock the nutrients that are already surrounding the roots all in the soil. But if this uh, pH is too acidic or too alkaline, so if it's too high or low on that scale, Scale, um, then those nutrients become unavailable to the tree. So the lime unlocks the nutrients and suddenly you can get all this green growth without even adding extra fertilizer because the problem all along was that your tree just couldn't get to the nutrients that were already there. NPK are the three big ones for trees. That's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. It's kind of like how humans need carbs, fat, and protein to have a healthy diet. Trees need those three nutrients, especially to be healthy. And then of course, all kinds of micronutrients. So yeah, that is um, the kind of one size fits all solution to this problem. Just try lime. Now the thing about lime is it moves very slowly through the soil. Basically it just takes a long time to get there. So you might want to aerate the soil as well. 
Okay, so that is um, the solution for yellow leaves on citrus trees. Try it out in like a year from now. Let us know how it went for you. Come back, let us know in the comments or if you know any other uh, solutions for this. And go ahead and like and subscribe and hit the notification if you want to see more videos like this. And we'll see you next time. Aloha.